Uh, item number 76 is both for speakers. First speaker is Heather Fazio, signed up against. Welcome, you have three minutes. Hi, good morning. I won't need that much time, but thank you. Um, my question is, this grant is for two robotic vehicles. Apparently, they're bomb-sniffing vehicles. My question to the council is, how many Austinites have been harmed because of bombs in the last 10 years? Anyone? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm asking because if we're approving this much money to be spent on bomb-sniffing vehicles, robotic vehicles at that RoboCop, um, surely someone's been hurt and we need to protect the public, right? Mayor. Mayor Pro Tem. Ma'am, I don't know the number if any have been hurt, <clears throat> but I think that's the whole point is we're trying to make sure that no one gets hurt. We do have numerous cases though at abortion clinics, at our court uh, courthouse, uh, at different facilities where our bomb squad has had to go in uh, and remove a, an item. That Were they effective with the- Was a bomb or that was now? thought to be a bomb, but that, that takes an individual uh, dressed in a bomb suit if we can use a non-human element to remove the threat. Uh, I think that's even a step and, and of the members on the bomb squad, how many have been hurt because of the I bomb? I don't know. I so don't no know one's that. been hurt and we're spending all Could of this money. Could I ask money. that you go ahead with your three minute presentation? That's all, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, next is Debbie Russell. Debbie has three minutes. Hi, Council Mayor. I, um, <clears throat> public safety issues aside on this item, just wanted to mention we, we do have a City for Peace resolution. Uh, Northrop uh, Grumman is a major war profiteer, and yet again we're approving money and adding to that war machine uh, here at the city level. Um, again, we have that City for Peace resolution. I would have hoped it meant something uh, when it was passed a few councils ago. Um, and I thought that it represented our, um, our, our, our values here in the community. And also, the other aspect, of course, this is another no-bid contract. And, you know, that's what the Department of Defense does, and I don't think we want to be emulating that. Um, there are other uh, entities out there that do make equipment to detect bombs. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is uh, John Bush. Hello, uh, John Bush, and I want to let you know I'm speaking on behalf of myself, not Texans for Accountable Government on this one. Um, I've been speaking with Commander Gay about an alternative, and the reason why we're still going with this is because we already have uh, bomb-sniffing robots um, that are north of Grumman, and they don't want to have to retrain the officers. Um, but I have a slideshow here. This is the uh, uh, profits, basically, from Northrop Grumman. If you'll notice, they, go, they coincide just alongside the war with the surge in Iraq and Afghanistan and everything. Um, but I'm gonna show you some pictures here and I just wanna remind you, because uh, the media's not doing it nowadays, uh, about the cost of war. Uh, right now it's, it's all the way up to a trillion dollars, 22 billion, 392 million, 51,373, with 4,731 soldiers lost in Iraq, 1,973 in Afghanistan. That doesn't include those who have returned home and committed suicide or those who have returned home from some sort of wounds and, and died on American soil. Um, the war is getting worse and worse. I'm sure you saw the leaked video recently of the journalists being murdered in Iraq, not to mention the Afghanistan leak that just came out. It's far worse than anybody would have you believe. Uh, they are now doing unmanned aerial drone raids in Pakistan, murdering innocent civilians. Uh, they're escalating the rhetoric for the war in, in Iran. So in 2006, I was very excited that the Democrats took control of both houses. I thought they would be able to put an end to this war, but they didn't. I knew better when Barack Obama took office. I know he would just escalate the war. Uh, there's a saying, if you don't support the war, then stop paying for it. I don't have that choice with my income taxes, but you, the city council, does have the opportunity today to not give $256,000 to one of the world's top three defense contractors who earns a large majority of their profits from uh, what ends up being the murdering of innocent civilians. So I ask you to look inside your conscience. Like Debbie said, the city council, this city, this body, uh, I am hope many of y'all are against the war in Afghanistan and Iraq, and now you have the opportunity to demonstrate that to we the people. 
Um, I feel powerless on the federal level to do anything against the war. That's why I don't, and it, it hurts me to say that. Uh, but again, here at the local level, I have the opportunity to look you guys in the face, and I hope you're looking at these pictures here and these images, because I wouldn't be able to vote for this knowing that one penny could be uh, go through that bomb right there, the B-2 bomber, which Northrop Grumman makes, and that's one of the biggest uh, weapons of mass destruction uh, that we have in the world. So I, I urge you, I spoke with Commander Gay. Uh, again, they're choosing this Northrop Grumman contract because uh, the police officers and the bomb squad, that caters to all 10 counties, but we end up paying for it. Uh, they're already trained with the Northrop Grumman, so that means that y'all might commit to continuing to purchase these products from such a, a warmongering profiteer. So I hope that you'll consider delaying this so we can see if there's any other uh, potential contractors that we can purchase these uh, bomb-sniffing robots from. Thank you. Thank you. What you just heard is the maximum demonstration that we will allow in this chamber for the rest of the day. So hold it down. Uh, any discussion or a motion on item number 76? Council Member Spellman. Somebody wants to move approval of an item which is absolutely necessary to the Austin Police Department in the face of such an ovation. Uh, I'm not happy about the fact that we have to get this from a war profiteer like Northrop either, but I don't know who the heck we're going to get it from, and we need to be able to put bombs out. So I'll move approval, Mayor. Motion by uh, Council Member Spellman, and I will second that motion. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say no. Passes on a vote of 7 0. I had a really good joke. For the mayor specifically. For the mayor, yeah. Well, um, if you want to tell that joke, and we'll make sure. I was going to say that ever since he's been in office, things have been going real effing well. 